Is there equal opportunities for everyone in our country or not? Allow me to insert just a little bit of critical thought here because it's a little more nuanced than simply yes or no, as most things are. So, is there an equal opportunity for everybody in terms of resources and what's available for you and how the system is tilted for or against you? Yes, it is very different. For example, take the tax code. The tax code overwhelmingly favors rich people over poor people. And take just monetary and fiscal policies all together, overwhelmingly disadvantages the poor from the rich. Now, here's the critical nuance that politicians don't talk about, the media doesn't talk about. We'll just call it a societal, cultural brainwash because they don't talk about it. Is there an equal opportunity for everyone to create opportunity for themselves where there is none otherwise for themselves? Yes! How do poor people, any of them, go from the poor house to the rich house? Minus inheritance, because those people go right back to the poor house anyway. But how do the ones get there that actually move from financial classes from middle to rich or poor to rich? They create opportunities for themselves. They stopped waiting around and procrastinating and waiting for the system to retilt maybe in their favor. Taxes, government policy, whatever it is. Do you really think that's ever gonna happen? That is the endless waiting game and that is why most people live and die broke and disadvantaged and lack of resources and all those things. Nobody needs more resources. You just need to learn to be resourceful with what you have. And then, <coughs> excuse me, then you'll have more resources and more opportunities and the system will start to tilt in your favor and all that kind of wonderful stuff. But what's everybody talking about and waiting to do? We got to fix the system. We do have to fix the system. But while we're working on that, whatever, I don't know what that's going to take to be honest with you, but while we're waiting for the system to be fixed or taking action to fix the system, we have to also create opportunity for ourselves. Otherwise, We'll be living and dying without the resources, the stuff we really want, and whatever else that looks like for you. It's a pretty simple concept, so create opportunity. For example, when I didn't have time or money or anything like that, which that's an umbrella over just about everything else, just about, I got creative. Instead of telling it how it is, keeping it how it is, and wishing for things to improve before I would improve, I started asking myself, what can I do to start raising money without having any and solving time problems? Well, I learned about leverage and I learned how to, I, I created 31 ways of raising money without having any. Imagine that, 31 ways and other people have created more and I give it away now. I, I documented it all and anybody can have it. It's at my website, TomBurkeandMeyer.com. Say it twice, TomBurkeandMeyer.com, just like it's spelled here, take out the space and you can get yourself a copy. And I bet it'll even spawn more ideas from you that I didn't even think of. And I learned about leveraged income, like passive and residual income to solve the time issue, like I had no free time. So now I got free time. And I, I created opportunity for myself. And now the taxes are in my favor. The system tilted in my favor. Can you imagine that? Where before, so how did I get to where I'm at when the system was rigged against me and the system's rigged against you? How do you do it? You have to create opportunity for yourself. And that's where it's an equal playing field for everybody. That's where it's an equal opportunity for everybody. If you look at it with that extra nuance that nobody in our culture is talking about, and maybe that's on purpose, because I do know that uh, big businesses, you know, some of the big businesses, they they need your unquestionable obedience. They need, they need you to wait around for the system to get unrigged, which is the unending waiting game. I mean, 98% of the population, that's 49 out of 50 people before the age of 65 are either dead or dead broke, depending on the federal government and friends and family as the main source of their income. 49 out of 50 people. And who does that benefit mostly? The top 0.1%. They need your unquestionable obedience and they need your obedience in waiting for the system to get fixed before you do anything about it. So instead of waiting, create your own opportunity. You could and you learn about leveraged income like passive and residual income like I did. And then you can totally mess up their plans that they have to control and manipulate you for the through the dependency of the dollar to pay your bills and eat. And that's not a good place to be. Who wants to be dependent on the dollar to pay their bills and eat? Nobody does.
nobody, you don't care what you say, nobody wants that. So you have to learn about residual and passive income, that's leveraged income, so that you can escape from being underneath the thumb of those people that can tell you what to do, that need your own questionable obedience. So skip that nonsense and create your own opportunity. Anyone can do that. There's no law that says you can't. There used to be, but that was struck down in, uh, after the civil rights movement of the 1960s. So that doesn't, uh, you know, that doesn't uh, affect you anymore, except now you've got these possibilities. You just have to create opportunity for yourself where there otherwise maybe isn't any opportunity because the system is rigged against you and taxes are rigged against you and government fiscal monetary policies are rigged against you. So create your own opportunity. If taxes favor the rich over the poor, then why would you want to stay poor? Create your own opportunity and then you can get out of that nonsense and you can get out of the state of dependency and living for working for the dollar to pay your bills and eat. The great thing about being truly rich, not high wage or high salary rich, that's just a bigger wage slave. The more money you make at a, a wage or a job or a salary, that just means you're a bigger slave. Same with most entrepreneurs, by the way. Wrap your mind around that one. But if you want to be a free human being, you have to get away from that and start learning. And if you don't like learning, then you've ripped yourself off before the rigged system ever could rip you off. So that's an inside job. You got to fix that. You got to embrace and love learning. So here's what, um, you know, a lot of people will, will at least at least once in their life get started on such a worthwhile journey of developing their own freedom, developing uh, passive and residual income. A lot of people won't, but some people will. And what happens when the going gets tough? Most of the people that get started, they quit. When the going gets tough, they quit. But that's not how the saying goes. The saying goes, when the going gets tough, tough get going. Translation, that means you figure it out. You take on the learning curve. You embrace it. You love it. And you figure stuff out. And as you get going, stuff's going to happen to you. Like wrenches will be thrown in your way. Who knows what that's going to look like? It's all part of the deal. The, the most simplified version of success I, I've ever heard before is step number one, figure out what it is that you want. Tell the world and then figure it out, right? And the figuring out part is where most people blow it. Mostly everybody will at least one attempt in their life, state what they want, get started, uh, and then that's it. They quit. Most people never pick it back up again. Some people do, but you have to figure it out and take on the learning curve, and then you can get there, okay? That's what it is. You create your own opportunity. And if, you're, if, you, if you love health and fitness like I do and wellness, and you're interested in perpetuating health and wealth instead of poverty and sickness and you want to learn how to make money, leveraged money, residual and passive money on health and wealth and wellness instead of making money on managing poverty and sickness, then feel free to privately connect with me. And if it sounds too good to be true to you to be able to do that, then distance yourself away from me as fast as you can because I don't want my soul poisoned with that and neither do you. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Feel free to share this because this is a really great idea that is not talked about enough, if at all, in our culture. It's said we got this brainwashed culture, brainwashing our own people, that the system is rigged against you. Therefore, just wait around for the government to fix it. In the meantime, you could be creating your own opportunity, and that's exactly how people, the few that actually get ahead, get more free time. You know, the true rich, not because of the money, the true rich are rich, in my opinion, because they have their freedom of their time. And there is no freedom of time unless you have passive and residual income that matches or exceeds all of your expenses, whatever your expenses are. You're not a free human being unless you have enough passive and residual money that exceeds all of your expenses. It's so important, it's worth repeating. Otherwise, you're controlled and manipulated through the dependency of the dollar. So being truly rich is the escape from the dollar. And you need leveraged money to do that. Otherwise, you can't, you can't do it. It's not even an opinion. It's, it's a fact. Uh, you're either controlled and manipulated by money or you are controlling and manipulating money. It's going to be one of those two things because you cannot pay bills without money, period. So you, you, you have residual bills, might as well have residual money. If you have residual bills and you're only working for money, then money owns you. You're underneath the thumb of other people that can tell you what to do and control and manipulate you and need your unquestionable obedience for the rest of your life. So get out from underneath that nonsense. 
Start creating your own opportunity to learn about passive and residual money. And again, if you love health and fitness, and you want to learn how to make money, leveraged money with health and fitness, perpetuate health and wealth instead of sickness and poverty, get a hold of me private message and share this video if you dig it. If you think other people would at least like the seed planted in their mind of, oh yeah, I can create my own opportunity. I don't need to wait for things to get better. I can, I can start creating my own opportunity before the system ever gets fixed because the system will probably never be fixed. The system will probably never be unrigged and favor me. So uh, yeah, it makes sense. It makes total sense. I should start thinking about creating my own opportunity, right? Yeah. So you plant that seed in people's heads maybe by just sharing this video and more people will hopefully start thinking along those lines because it would be wonderful to mess up the plans of the top 0.1% who just want to control and manipulate us the rest of our lives, right? That sounds like more fun. So there you go. Bye for now, everybody. Mwah.